Good evening, guys. I hope you've all warmed up and read the disclaimer properly. So when you get smacked in the face with the rubber bands that we're going to do tonight, you don't try and have a, a go at us. So we're going to use rubber bands tonight. So there's loads out there, there's loads of varieties. As long as you've got a resistance band of any description, it'll work, okay? So there's different colours, different uh, resistances. I know which ones I'm going to be using tonight. The white one, because I'm not stupid. Um, so we're going to do uh, a full body workout using the resistance bands and in different positions. The clips which are on my ankles, I didn't leave them on from last night's enjoyment. Uh, they are to do some hamstring stuff later on. I just thought it'd be easier just to leave it on. So, are we ready? So we're going to do what I meant. Uh, Reps of 10. So, starting on, always make sure that the band is in the centre of the foot, it's not near your tiptoe, because that is where it will just twang up and just smack you in the face. And again, it's going to be funny if it happens. So, we're going to start. We're going to start with a bicep curl, feet on, nice and steady, try and keep a slight bend in the knee, and we're going to go for a nice steady, alternating that bicep curl. Seven. Hope you've all drank plenty and not been sitting in the sun all day. You've been very active. Or oh, you're probably still in the sun and having a barbecue. Excellent. Let's do two more. One, two. We're going to take it to an upright row, so knuckles pointing forward, and we're going to keep the band close to the body all the way through the move. We're going to draw it up under the chin and elbows are higher than the ears if you can. So we're going to do 10 of them. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so there's your upright row, so we're going to go for a side lat raise now. So if you want the side lat raise to be a little bit easier, you can take one foot out. And it just makes it a little bit easier. And then from there, we're going to bring it up to shoulder height, control it on the way down, take it up. So while we're doing the side lat raises, so when we use an anchor point, just make sure that the anchor point is nice and secure. Tops of the shoulders. Brilliant. Let's do two more. Here we go. One, two. Excellent. So we're still going to keep it in the same position. We're going to do a front raise. We're going to do again just a little bit further at the back of the shoulders. So we're just going to bring it straight up and control it down. Now these bands will want to pull you down straight away. Control that move. Keep the move slow and controlled all the way through. Excellent. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Brilliant. So, both feet are going back in this time. Feet at distance apart, toes pointing forward, we're going to do a squat, and as we come up into the squat, we're going to go into a shoulder press at the same time. So we're coming down into your squat, press it up. Down into your squat, press it up. Nice and steady, weights in the heels all the way on the way down, press it up. Excellent. Let's do three more lap squats. One, two, three. Well done. Step back, shoulders a little bit of a shake out. So we're going to do your triceps all at the back of the arm. So these are different ways of doing this. I like to double the band only because I don't like it smacking me in the face. So what we're going to do, I'll show you from the back. And if Your back and you get out the, out the shower. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 
Quindi dietro no? do a few ab exercises just to throw it into the mix. So coming down into your ab exercises, we're going to do a bicycle crunch, nice and steady, rotating across the centre of the body, opposite elbow, opposite knee. And we're going to do five more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Feet go flat. Arms are out, and then from here, imagine throwing a medicine ball. Oh, so you're going to go one, two, keep your stomach nice and tight. There we go. If you get a trump, it's probably going to be at this point as well. So put it on it. There we go. That's it. Brilliant. Two more. Fantastic. So, from this one now, press down with your fingertips, keep your arms off the floor, one knee and one knee out, you can go, one, two, three, crunch, one, two, three, crunch, one, two, three, crunch, one, two, three, crunch, one, two, three, crunch. Excellent. So, next one, we're going to do hands to the temple. You're going to come up, twist, twist, back. Now, it doesn't matter about how far you come up, this time you come up, twist, twist, back. 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 Back, up, twist, twist, back, up, twist, twist, back, up, twist, twist, back, up, twist, twist, back. So, back to them long arm set up. So, we're going to do long arm set up and as slow as you can on the way back. Snap up. Slowly back. The hard work's done on the way down. So even if you want to grab the legs and get yourself up, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you take your time on the descent. Snap up. Slowly back. Snap up. And do one more. Slowly coming back. Off we come. Back onto the bands. So, feet hip distance apart. Making sure the band is in the center of the foot. Bring your arms up so you stay in a bicep position. And then from here, we're just going to do normal squats this time. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Let's go for just a straightforward shoulder press. So, stepping in, step forward, from here, push it up. Make sure you're breathing nice and fluid all the way through. Let's be honest, if you don't breathe nice and fluid, Die. Excellent. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Brilliant. So we're going to do a back lunge and a bicep curl. So we need to swap it over halfway through, but what you're going to do, you're going to wrap it round once to shorten the band off a tiny bit. 
Now from here, step back. As you step back, bicep curl. Nice and smooth. Stepping back, bicep curl. Remember, all this is to your ability. So if you want to go harder with the bands, you can do. If, like some people, you struggle taking your watch off, you might need a heavier band. Work out harder. Go. And one more. No, I'm not doing four, I'm just doing one. You swap it over. And same again. So that's the big muscles run out the side of the back. So again, you can double it up, you can have it single if you wish. And what you're going to do, start up close and make sure the band stays in line with the face. So we're not out here. And from here, pull one side down. Look inside. One way. And let's do the other side. Three, four, five, down the side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to keep those together, pull it out, down. Close. So it's almost like you're going to catch your nose on the way down. Keep them around the collarbone. Bring it back. So no, it's not as good as on that pull down. It's just it's you've only got that. Feel it now. You want to say strong mind, strong body. Do one more. Oh, because I've lost count. There we go. Shake it out. Brilliant. Right, so let's do some good mornings. Now, good mornings are predominantly for the, low, uh, the hamstrings, and it will work a little bit of the lower back. So, if you've got a bit of a bad back, just be very aware of what you're doing at this present moment. So, I'll show you from the, front, uh, from the side to start with. So come up into the bicep position again. Keep your stomach tight, slight bend in the knee, and then from there, tip in the hip, and off you come. So again, if you want to make it a little bit harder, shorten the band off a little bit. And then what you're doing is there. So try not to bend the knees too much. What people tend to do with the end of the tent, bending the knee too much, it turns into a squat. And from the front view. Tight. And again, if you watch this later on, you can mess about with the resistance on the bands, make it more challenging, you can do more reps, you can do one to two sets, you can do it to time, load the options. Let's do one more. Excellent. Well done. Have a little drink. So, a lot of times when it comes to the band work, you need a decent anchor point. So please make sure that you've got a decent anchor point. Uh, in a door what shuts towards you, that's where the anchor point goes, or around a banister or something like that. That just stops you from being on the UV frame later on, where it smacks you in the face. So, we're going to go for a chest press. So, from the chest press, from this point, walk so the band is just taut. You can have it under the elbows if you want, in front, on top, whatever, as long as you're comfortable. 
coming and touching the fingertips forward. Nice and steady. And if the band breaks at this point, you'll never see it coming up, just smack the back of your head. There we go. Let's do it again. One more. Excellent. And that move from the front, you're literally doing a chest press just with the bands, and that's all it is, okay? So we'll do another version of the chest press for you. Band comes underneath. Flat, it's under your shoulder blades, shorten the band off, and from here, we're going to do a two way move. So you're going to go chest press, bridge, chest press, bridge. And you're taking those hips up as high as you can. Try to use that core muscle to control yourself. So, when I say your core muscle, so if you feel your backside contracting, getting tighter as you're coming up, then you use your glutes. Go. Let's do two more of those. One. Two. Excellent. So from here now, we're going to do a leg press. So. When you're doing your leg press, try not to just have your band so it's just like that, just in case it does twang up at you. So what I always tend to do is go down and back through the centre. And as long as it goes back down and through the centre, it's tightening up on your feet at all times. So from the side, you're going to hold this band in tight. You can use the handles or you can shorten it off. Stomach tight, leg press out, and control it in. So try and come in in a nice straight line because the band will want to move you all over the place. Three. I don't know why I went high pitch then, but I did. It's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. Ten. Off we go. Keep with the band and where we are. We're going to do a, a row, a low row. So from here, again, shorten the bands off if necessary. You're going to bring the elbows back, take it forward. Bring them back, take it forward. Really pull it back. I hope everyone is taking part of this and not just laughing, maybe in a tone. Someone had a kind of beer last week when we were watching the chair based exercise. I think that was Jenna. <laughs> so, so when you're coming back, when you're bringing it back, imagine trying to put your shoulder blades so they touch. They won't, but just imagine trying they are, that they are. Really keep it tight all the way through that move. Excellent, right. So, drop that band off. So, as I said earlier on about the, the anklets, the work from last night. So, I'm going to drop it into the anchor point. So, they will move about, that's perfectly fine. Get yourself into the comfortable position. If you want to put a pillow underneath, that's perfectly okay as well. It just it stops any problems. And all you're going to do is shuffle away so you can feel that band getting tighter. And we're going to do 10 on each side. You're going to do your hamstrings all at the back of your leg. So you're going to peel these back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more. We're going to swap it over now. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. And you can do them both together if you wish. But we're not going to. So, that's your hamstrings done. Loads of glute exercises you can do, but we're not going to go through the glute exercises. Now, a lot of you are down because the pool's not working and they're not doing as much swimming as they want. And I think somebody put on telling you that they go open water swimming, but genuinely, if you are not used to open water swimming, don't start now to have to go at it. Okay, so please, safety first. So, you can get the same muscle workouts. So, you can keep those muscles working properly from a swimming exercise. So, from here now, Again, come back so the band is nice and taut. Arms out, slide bend in the knee, tip from the hip, and we're going to go for a butterfly. So if a friend of mine, Danny's watching, I, I apologise because I'm not very good at the butterfly. Well, I'm not very good at swimming, but you know. So from there, back. You're just making sure you're trying to do the same move as you do so all you swimmers out there now are looking going, have a lightly push. I don't mind. Excellent. And while we've got this, we're going to do two more. One. Two. Okay? So we're going to do your tricep. So we're going to do a tricep kickback. So on a tricep kickback, Elbows high, and again, you can do wheel singles if you wish. Elbows high, and you're just going to kick it back. We're going to do 10 of them. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other side. One, two, Three, four, five, so you're keeping that elbow high, shoulder nice and stabilized. One more, excellent. So, like to try set, so we're gonna do a front crawl one and we'll do 10 on each arm to start with. So for, again, make sure the band the straps nice and high up, keep it quite tall. You can have one hand in or you can keep it out if you wish. And all you're going to do is you're trying to mimic the swimming. So your front crawl. So this hand's not doing much. There you go. Looks like a dead sock could be there. That's it. That's it, one more. Switch it over. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's give you back a bit of a breather. We'll do some chest presses while we're here. So again, you can either go over, under, whatever you're comfortable with, do some more. I like doing a bit of a chest press in between this, because we're going to do front pull again, but we're going to alternate the move. This will give your back a bit of a stretch out. There we go. And let's do... Let's do two more. One, two. So switch it over again, last time. So we're going to go for a front crawl again, but we're going to try and alternate that move. So keep the band nice and taut. And we're going to go.
You can even put a snorkel on, make it more authentic if you wish, whichever you want, if that helps. Uh, there you go. Just when you put a snorkel on, don't breathe through your nose at the point. So, that's all that part, okay? So, just to reiterate what we've done, make sure that when you're standing on the band, you don't have it on the tips of your toe, but it will try and open it in the face. And I'm amazed that this hasn't happened on me tonight. Uh, make sure it's in the centre of the foot, okay? All the time, make it a little bit more harder. You can pop both feet in, a little bit wider. It just alters the tension of the band. So nice and steady, you can do whatever work out. Have a go with these, these are absolutely fantastic. Make sure that you're cooling down properly as well, guys. Uh, thank the council for doing all these uh, classes and everything. I know that they're going to be on Dimensions website, they're going to be on Fenton's and Wally Centre and all of that and everything. And you can watch them over and over again. Uh, unfortunately, none of them broken, maybe they were stupid. So I'd like to thank you all. I hope you enjoyed yourself.